is there a chainsaw? Am I in Texas? Wait, wait. Please, don't kill me. I'm here because I need your help. I'm doing some research for a school project on the Friday the 13th franchise, and I was hoping you could fill in some blanks. I don't even know if you can talk, but if you can, could you help me with my research? <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, my throat was dry. Sure, kid, I can help you out. What would you like to know? What? You can talk? Well, why did you never speak in your films? Haven't you ever heard of the phrase, silent? Deadly. Like real, real deadly. But silent. But deadly. Yeah, in reference to farting. D did you just compare me to a fart? Are you sure you don't want to die? Because it sounds like you want to die if you're comparing me to a fart. Which is not cool! No, 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 no. I want to live. I'm sorry I compared you to a fart. Ugh. Oh god. What was that? Ugh. Ugh, it's rank. What the hell? Ugh. Oh god. What the hell did you eat? Ugh. It shrieks. I I'm sorry. I I farted. I was holding that one in for a really long time, and then blammo! Like a car horn. Like a really loud car horn from my butt. Ugh. Horrible. Ugh. Well, I am a rotting corpse, if you haven't noticed. So you mix that in with a fart, and I mean, yowie wowie! Am I right? Did the kids still say that? Am I right? Am I cool? Please tell me I'm cool. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting way off track. Now, may I ask you some questions for my research project? Oh, sure thing, little fella. You know, I look forward to your bombardment of nerd questions. I love nerds. You're virgins. You don't do drugs. You are my kind of people. The kind I don't kill. Because you're chaste. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Gee, thanks. So you drowned at the age of 11 at Camp Crystal Lake, right? Nope. No siree, Bob. No. No way, no how. Nope. What do you mean, nope? <laughs> well, um, I, I never actually drowned. But the camp counselors, they weren't watching, and you drowned. Yeah, they were off boinking. You know, you're boinking. Am I, am I doing that right? I don't want to use visual illustrations. And they were smoking the marijuana. And there I was in the water, potentially drowning. Yeah, that's what happened. Right, so that's why you have a knack for killing couples who do premarital sex and drugs. And here I am, all deformed and not getting the bow chicka wow wow. Do the kids still call it that? You know, I wouldn't know. All I ever hear from them are their screams of terror and the, oh, please don't kill me. And I do kill them. I do. No, nobody calls it that. So, if you never drowned, what happened to you? Well, you know, I washed up on shore, found myself all alone, and I lived off the land as a hermit. That's what I've been doing all these years. Hold on. Your mom thought you were dead. She went mad with grief and butchered camp counselors. She sure did. All those campers and counselors. Boy, was that something to witness. You know, their screams, 
it kept me awake at night. But for some reason, it was like a lullaby to me. And then I fell asleep. It was nice. Is that creepy? So, for 20 years, you were alive, lived off the land, and you never thought once, hey, maybe I should let my mom know I'm alive? Well, you know, mom, she could be a bit of a nag, and I don't want to be known as a mama's boy. And there were benefits. I could stay up all night, eat what I want. I'm a big boy now. I'm a big boy, mama. What? What? She killed dozens of innocent people thinking she was avenging your wrongful death. Oh, man. Well, when you put it that way, you make me sound like an asshole. And I'm not an asshole. I don't think. Am I an asshole? Yes. Yes, you are an asshole. You take that back, sir. I am a horror icon. I am. I'm right up there with Freddy and Michael Myers. Not the leprechaun. He's down here. You get it? Like Chucky, down here? I am not good at jokes. No! No, you're not an icon! You sat back for 20 years while your mother went insane with grief, went and butchered 20 innocent people, and then she ended up dead! <sighs> you had to bring up mother's death. Here we go! Yes! Your mother was decapitated by camp counselors, who were innocent! See, after all the schmas with me not being dead and mother killing the camp counselors and me staying hidden, it would have been really, really awkward to reveal myself. Like, really awkward. Yeah, except then you do reveal yourself, claiming vengeance for your mother's death. You know, I have her decapitated head in my cabin. I built her a shrine, a really nice one, next to the Justin Bieber shrine. You don't need to know about that. But do you, do you want a picture with the head? Come on! Selfie with the head. You'll get service out here. Come on, selfie with the head. You don't look like you want a selfie with the head. Why are you killing camp counselors who are innocent and had nothing to do with the death of your mother? Exercise. They run really fast for me and I have to keep up. I mean, really fast. It's almost like their lives are in mortal peril. And boy, howdy. The old muscles, ugh, they get quite the workout. I am so buff. I'm so buff from running after them. You're a rotting corpse! Do you even have muscles anymore? They rot away years ago! You know, you make a valid, yet nerdy point good, sir. Good for you. Good for you. You are the most evil and selfish horror character. You let innocent people die, you let your mom die, and you kill people for fun! <sighs> oh dear. Now you put all the puzzle pieces together and... Is that a plane? Stop that! Stop, you know, flying your airplane around Camp Crystal Lake. I'm not leaving. I'm never leaving. Where were we? Oh, yeah. You've put all the puzzle pieces together. So you know what that means, don't you? You know. I have to die. Bingo. <sighs> Why? Why did you have to do the one thing that people never do in horror movies? Use logic. Oh, I was rooting for you, little buddy. I was rooting for you. I wanted to help you, and now, now you're dead. Mom! Mom, I'm bringing a friend home. Just, you know, fresh one. Should set the dinner table. Oh, wait. Mom doesn't have a body. That can't happen. I'll do it. I'll do it. Hey, everyone. This is Droid from the Dare to be Stupid show. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified of new content as it comes out. And in the meantime, you can check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.